yeah so we've had a couple of days off a few days off actually because they came on the tuesday and they were here tuesday and wednesday and then really what we've done since then has just been sort of trying to get the house to look like a home a really house, yeah. yeah we've we've moved boxes you can see behind me we've moved boxes into the respective rooms that they belong like this one does have kitchen as well actually but that's because at the moment we our kitchen is our everything isn't it yeah it's daytime nighttime everything room mm. so kitchen stuff and we don't have any furniture so we've got nowhere to put anything we've got no cupboard so everything's still in boxes i'll take you upstairs look at that beautiful blue sky so we've cleared off the landing so that's lovely there's a wall there well that's waiting for windows to be i don't know what you call Insulated. it stuffed stuffed <laughs> yeah stuffed yeah. the window um we got one of these waiting here this has been here ages actually hasn't it but yeah a long time that's that will be for the water for getting the shower indoors um instead of in, yeah it's the whole whole it's house. all of it it will yeah. do all of it yeah it's a big big water pump and all in one wow i did not realize a big hole up there for that electric going in there i think the hole might have been there yeah from mm, the old electric may, may have helped it. maybe <laughs> yeah so that's what we've done we cleared off the landing into here we sorted this one as well and i think i said about before that once we took the ceiling paneling off we knew like the ridge tiles there were a couple of ridge tiles missing and you may have noticed there's a bucket there and that catches the water that is coming through these gaps We knew there what was a leak. Yeah. But we've between our brain power, we've decided while the ceiling was up and there was lime which had fallen onto the ceiling, the rainwater was landing on the lime and then evaporating as time went on. Mm. The, the end bedroom had and a that's why we weren't weren't really only that noticing concerned. yeah. yeah. There was a little bit of signs of water in the end bedroom just on the floor but it was only when we took the ceiling panels away and all of the line we actually realized how much water came in yeah which is quite a bit yeah hence that it's not too bad when it's just ordinarily raining no but last no. week it was it really torrential, yeah, wasn't it, for a couple days. of days. When it was um, Storm Kieran and really we got away with it, it was just rain here. Yeah. But it was a lot of rain. Um, and yeah. we had quite a lot. That's how we ended up with the water in the hall. Um, Open the kitchen door to be met with a big puddle of water. Right, <laughs> run down the path. <clears throat> yeah under the broken door in a moment ben's drone is outside waiting and we're going to take the drone up above the house have a look at these ridge tiles see what work is involved so we've watched youtube videos this morning and last night haven't we just yeah. to learn how to take them off put them back on we need but we need to have a look um to see whether we think we're going to be able to do this because it's a hipped roof so it makes it a little more difficult because there's no straight lean against and the slates although they're not too bad they'll probably crack they'll probably crack so we just want to have a good look good clear look at what this might involve for us We've inquired about a, a cherry yes, picker. Yes, yeah, we have, yeah. So we've looked at that could be an option of 
getting up there. <laughs> I know, I was just trying <laughs> to tilt it <laughs> so that we're both in it, like that. Yeah, really little. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that was um, one not unexpected thing. Well, no, we knew it was there. And yeah. We just didn't. And then we got thing, and this was unexpected, wasn't it? It really was. Um, the downstairs fireplace, as beautiful as it is, we noticed up along here, let's get my finger in the right place, up along here, smoke is coming out of there when that fire is lit. So it's obviously coming all into this bedroom and filling it full of smoke. So that's another unexpected. Um, we think, we will test it, but we think this one is all right, this chimney. Yeah, because we can, you can, you stick your head up, you can see the top. Yeah. So on the whole. But that's another thing that we're looking into because we now may have to... Line it. Yeah, we've watched some videos on that as well, on how to put in flue liners. Um, it, look, it looks simple. Yeah. And we've always said if it was a cottage, we probably would have done the re-roofing ourselves or certainly the re-tiling. Yeah. Um, and if you need to do a chimney liner, you get up on your ladder. Because this is a full height house, it then gets a little bit more scary yeah. on a ladder. You, you see them and they put the ladder up the side of the house and then they put the roof ladder on and they walk up it and I can't do that. <laughs> no, but no. we're, we're, um, we're deciding, aren't we? Yeah. What we, we may, can we and can't do. We may have to do it and yeah. if it needs doing on ladders, I'll do it on ladders and we'll do it between us. But it doesn't fill us full of joy. No. Being scaffolding would obviously be the better option but it's such so a huge expensive. expense um we've looked at second hand just the single towers yeah um and we could probably pick one of those up for not too much but even then that's they're not cheap it's a lot of expense isn't it yes yeah, so this is the the unexpected thing that we're going to have to do, and whilst we're doing it, we may as well do all of them, yeah. liner-wise, because yeah. then we take away the uncertainty of whether they're going to be all right or not without a liner in them. So we'll probably look at doing all three that are uncapped. Take off. Home point updated. But Ben's going to have a look along each side of the hip on this side and then go along the ridge tiles along the top and out onto the other side, the other hip. And then we can get to see what we're up against because we can obviously only see from inside at the moment. Um, and we're going to get the trestles up to have a look. It's blowy. At the underneath. Blowy. Up there. Wow, that's bright. Yeah, it's all right if you come and stand here. Yeah. I don't know if this camera I'll pick up. Not really. It's got a reflection of you in there. That's a nice reflection. <laughs> no, it's made it worse, I think. Oh. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Yeah. That is blowy comes up over the roof, I mm. suppose. Yeah, I don't think it's picking it up very well, but we've put the footage on. You can see me on there as well now. It's got worse. But 
but it's quite handy having one of these for things like this. Yeah, it is. Oh, I just missed all of it. <laughs> That one's cracked. Oh yeah. What one is that old? Towards the bottom? Yeah. Can you see that one? No? No? Yeah, sort of. It's just a reflection on your screen. Yeah. But yeah, you can see it. And then just the missing one. <laughs> it just keeps seeing you appear and reappear. Oh, I'll smile. <laughs> on the reflection. Not sure how well this is going to come out on film. Well, I'll do it from the other way, see if it's any less reflective. No. no, it's even it's more because there's trees in the background no, then. There's another cracked one. Right down the middle. Yeah, mm. so they Wow, that is blowy. Really, um, all of them. Yeah, that's yeah, cracked. Yeah, I can't see it at all. No. Nice. Yeah. So it's not good news? Not really. And then we'll have a look at the rest of them as well, we may as well. And the missing one. Right, let's have a look at the others. Wow. It is blowy, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, they don't look as bad, no. do they? Not got no crack on there. I'm quite new to flying the drone as well. Yeah, you when are. Did I get you... It? I got it for my birthday in January. Yeah, and That's really haven't. January the thirteenth, just so you know. Yeah. Um, hint, hint. Fifty. Yeah. Fi fifty. Oh, I will be. Yeah. yeah fifty, 50 be next January year. January the thirteenth. <laughs> um, yeah. So I got it in the January, and we were looking for. Oh, we were waiting for this all to go yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. So everything was... So I didn't get a lot of flying no, time No, you didn't. In. You had a little bit, didn't you? And then it ended up being packed away. Yeah. And not had a chance to... Yeah, they're all cracked. But there's no water coming through on that no, side at not, the moment. No. But they obviously we, need replacing eventually. Maybe we can eventually. slap some cement on those. Yeah. Yeah, because sort of what we're looking at doing at the moment isn't a, a permanent do something with it and that's the end of that. This We just want to do something this side of winter, get us through to spring. We're going to have so many jobs oh, we've got once millions, spring comes around. Millions of jobs. But really this last part of the year, and it is only a month or two left of this year, Yeah, we just want to secure the house really don't we from cold there's a chimney oh yeah cold and wet so we're missing yeah, sean will be back for with a chimney pot at, at some, some point because he did to be fair to him he didn't expect that he was going to be doing two chimneys he was coming to do one and yeah. then we kind of talked him into doing the other one for us yeah. as well Yeah, this, this side of the roof is definitely a lot worse than the other. The roof was, yeah. Yeah, when you look at the tiles up there, and then you come across to the left-hand side, other than the ridge tiles that we were looking at at the start of this, the roof is a lot better on the left-hand side as you look at the house. 
The ridge tiles seem all right. Yeah, they look all right from down here. Yeah. They need a bit of... There's a couple that look like they could do with some new mortar on underneath them, but they're not too bad. Hello. Well, yesterday we did a little bit of filming of the drone. Well, not I filmed the drone. The drone filmed the roof. Um, and we spoke yesterday about needing to do these ridge tiles and scaffolding and all of, of the options. Um, and the reason why I didn't finish is that our friend came around the corner and speaking to him and he said he's got some scaffolding that we can borrow, which was amazing because it means we can get up there to have a look to possibly get these ridge, ridge tiles done. Um, so that, that was how it was left. We'll, we'll, we'll borrow that and we'll try and do this. And then as we sat in the evening, me and Ben discussing it, we thought, well, maybe it's better if we had our own because we got plenty of jobs coming up that will require being up quite high on the house. We got all the guttering to replace. And as I said in the beginning, I think of yesterday, um, the fireplace downstairs has now shown us that it needs itself a flu liner. So we've got that to do as well. Um, and the scaffolding that our friend has got is some second-hand ex-hire from the local tool hire place that's um, probably about 10 minutes away from us. And he bought it fairly cheaply, really. So we thought, mm, it wasn't something that we'd thought about or buying. I don't know why we didn't, because that's how we got our acro props the same. They were ex higher ones weren't yeah. they so I don't know why it never occurred to us really so we discussed it and thought it probably be beneficial rather than and it's lovely of him to offer for us to borrow them but we'll borrow them to do this and then we might want to borrow them to do something else and then to borrow them to and it's not fair to keep borrowing things off people so we're going to get our own so off we went today and we've got not an aluminium like you see that are light and easy to move around. They didn't, well, they did have one of those, but it was way out of our price range. Silly, silly, <laughs> it was silly way, money. Yeah, it was way out of our price range. So, because that would have been a brand new one. Um, and they only had the one set that they hire out and he didn't want to sell that. Fair enough. They're a hire place. Um, but he did come up with that we could, I can't remember what they're called, they're, they're like scaffold, proper scaffolding poles, it's a, it's a tower isn't it, different yeah. sections, but anyway, it will get us up to the roof. So we did, did that this morning, so that should be delivered, should be delivered. They'll be delivered today tomorrow. or tomorrow. Today or tomorrow, he said. Like the IBCs, the day or tomorrow. Yeah. That actually means next week. Yeah, so we've not had them today, but that doesn't matter because we'll we, get them. We, we will get them. Um, and we were going to, once we get those, do these ridge tiles. But the man, the builder, who uncapped our chimneys and patched the roof. He messaged today after we'd messaged him last week. Yeah, I messaged him last him, week and said, bit of an emergency. Yeah. There's, Let me um, flick it round so I can see you. There's a lot more rain coming in through those ridge tiles than we first thought. Now we've taken the ceiling down. It's just a line of, of water on the bedroom floor. I'm sorry to interrupt, but you're stood there next to a headless lady. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, sorry. And, and he read it and there was nothing. And I messaged him again. I went, 
if you can't do it, if you're too busy, let us know because we can sort of try yeah. and find someone else. And that's why we were going to do it ourselves. That's why we were going to do it yeah. ourselves, yeah. And then like Dawn said, this morning I get a message and saying, <laughs> yeah, I can come down, what day are you thinking? No, we, like, we, could prob we can probably do this ourselves. We watched YouTube videos and we thought, yeah, we could muddle this. Yeah. But the height and our inexperience... And really the urgency. And the urgency, because we said before, our son's coming back from Canada. In, well, he flies from Canada tomorrow. Yeah. And he's going to stay with his sister for a bit. And then back here in... A week or two weeks. two weeks, hopefully two weeks, depending on whether they annoy each other too yeah. much. But that will be his first time here. Yeah, so. So not only does his bedroom roof <laughs> got a leak, leak. yeah, big holes. Look, daylight. It's like a Velux window. Yeah, it is. A very, very small. It's also the Velux room window. where the chimney from downstairs leaks yeah, so up in the loft space. We've not had that fire on really, have we? No. Unfortunately. So, welcome to your new home. Your bedroom yeah. roof, roof your leaks. Bedroom's and don't horrible. breathe too deeply when we've got the fire going downstairs. <laughs> yeah. So that brings us on nicely, I think, to where we are at the moment and what we're doing. Yeah. So at the moment we're just getting rid of, because we haven't got this sorted. He wasn't going to be home till December, so we had a few yeah, more it was weeks. Coming home for your birthday, yeah, December the fourteenth. December the fourteenth. <laughs> Fifty-one. Fifty-one. Thanks for that. It's all right. Yeah, I probably don't mind turning. I can't believe a whole year has nearly gone by though. Fifty. What, I fifty. Yeah, fifty. I found quite distressing. Yeah, you did. I don't know why. Thirty. I found very distressing. Forty. I didn't really mind. Fifty. 50 is why we're now living in this house in Ireland. Because I had a little bit of a midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Turning 50. Can my, so, midlife, oh. can my midlife crisis be we're not living in a dome <laughs> house in Ireland? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is what we're doing Sorry. right now. No, that's all right. Just get rid of some of the flaky paint. It's a strange surface that's going was, on in, on I here in a minute. I was just going to say, we're not really sure no, I mean, if it's, it's a lime plaster, it doesn't no. look like a lime plaster. Go There's on, definitely you. lime on the stones yeah. of like the house. There is lime and it's thick, normal thickness. But then on the top of that, it looks like a gypsum plaster we're not a hundred percent sure but it doesn't look like lime it's a very thin coat and it's ever so smooth and it breaks like real plaster not like lime doesn't it yeah it's very very hard but very brittle yeah but what also hasn't helped is because you know we're not experts but i'll just say it again we're not experts um so what makes it difficult for us to really decide if it's lime or not is it's got just, I'll say, modern day emulsion paint on yeah. it. Yeah. Which stops, again, you it stops it your there. walls from breathing yeah. and everything else. So it is literally just, it's coming off. It's not a lime based paint, I'll say, a paint, a wash. Yeah, it's just. So we think, we think this, it's a plaster. This is 100% <coughs> modern yeah, day plaster. Yeah, around the window it is, definitely. That's 100% because that's the right colour. But we do wonder if this is... It's very grey and yeah, plaster-like looking. And it's the paint is just falling off the wall yeah. in a lot of places. And this, this, just so you don't worry, the white patch is where paint was which we may have taken off last week or whatever and now there's no paint on it it's actually dried out all of this dark mm. um, with the the crackle effect yeah. is where the peach paint had cracked and it's dried out. and it's dried out in the little open cracks so it's gone white the gray is where ben's 
this is only just taken, taken off, the, off peach, the paint. The peach so ho paint. hopefully it's all going to turn into this grey colour. Yeah. So when our sun does get here, it won't look quite as bad as it looks it at the moment. It won't look mouldy because it, that part isn't mouldy. No. Well, I say mouldy, it sounds horrible, mildewy. But sounds, sounds less horrible. Yeah. But really, the next couple of months. We, we're just trying to get the house dry, windproof, and warm. Yeah. That's our goal at the moment. We, we're calling it, we're winterising it at the moment, because there isn't too much we can do at the moment. We're Maybe. obviously, yeah, there's, we're not be taking out windows and things like that. And no. We're just going to try and keep it as dry and warm as we can for the winter. Um, and then we'll start things probably... In spring. In spring, but as a result, it's kind of made this last couple of weeks a bit of a weird couple of weeks, hasn't it? Because we, from moving in in June, June the 26th, Second? Yeah, that was when we got here. Yeah, moving in from June, it has been absolutely manic. Yeah, we've not stopped. We've not stopped trying to get these two floors done because we knew our son was coming home in December. And then when we found he's coming home early November, we've sort of gone full speed ahead just to try and get these done. Mm. So now they're done. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's people sort of there going, but you've been there five months and you've only done two floors. But Dawn was saying before we started recording, um, if, I don't know, we had a caravan, that was Dawn's, Dawn's example, we bought yeah. an old caravan, and I don't know if I've told this story before, but we did this caravan up, it was 30 years old and the bathroom was rotten and everything else, and that was a little project, and every weekend from buying it in the, October. October. Mm. We went down and we ripped this caravan apart. And it, and it Saturday, we go home. All the way shower. through the winter. It was nice <laughs> and warm. And the Sunday, we'd go back down. And we did that right the way through. And the caravan was great, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we finished in the March, didn't we? And yeah, we finished in the March and stayed in it in the April, I think. Yeah. Um, that's what made us realise really we could do a bigger version of the caravan. But the thing behind that story is every day we got to go home. And yeah. It's and warm, warm, it's clean, clean. it's shower, you can shower. Your food. We're still on a camping stove, we're still on a shower outside, which is great. We have yeah. a shower outside. Yeah, I mean, it's better than having no yeah. shower. We can cook food, we do have a toilet. and. But you know, it's not the same as going, right, let's go home and we'll come back tomorrow. We're, we're living it. As yeah, well we're as, living in it. Yeah, so it, it's very difficult to be here with all this stuff around you. And start pulling it to pieces yeah. in the middle of winter. So we're going to... But it's not a moan. That was no, our, it's definitely that, not a moan. That that, that's choice. our decision. We've decided this until we come round to spring. Yeah. We'll, we'll still be doing bits, won't we? There's, there's plenty, plenty to do. I think storage for our stuff, I, I worked it out over, over until sort of spring when we thought we might be in the house properly. Um, I think it was going to be like three or four thousand pounds just for our stuff to be in storage, mm. which is why we made the decision we'll have it here. But it's, it's not a moan. We, we're loving it. Yeah, we are. Yeah. It's every, just every, been a strange, I think, from being so busy, so manic, and then we had the electricians come, so we had to take a few days um, where we can't, you can't do anything, because th there, there was, was four, four of them, of them the house, wasn't and, yeah, moving around all over the place, and it was um, raining as well, so you couldn't be outside either. We've done bits and pieces. Yeah, we've tidied, we've moved boxes. It's actually been nice. It has actually. Because we I can. do find it difficult to take a step back. 
Yeah, you don't. And do you don't deal with it? What well. I perceive as nothing. I yeah, can't we, be doing we spent nothing. Three days, top to bottom, brushing, hoovering, moving boxes into the respective rooms, like Dawn said. Um, and Dawn will go, but we haven't done anything for three days. No, we have. <laughs> it's it's all part, and Dawn does struggle with that. Yeah, um, I like to be because there's so much to do, isn't there? Yeah. So I think in my mind, you see it as we need to be we need, need to be to doing be big things. And we haven't got big things. We've we've got still a ceiling to well, I say ceiling. We're going to yeah. put the plywood boards up, aren't we? Um, but we didn't want to put those up before the ridge tiles get done. And we watched. Who did we watch yesterday? <sighs> Make do, Make grow. Make do and grow. Yeah. And they showed you their progress over the three years. And he has such a good way mm. with words and, and explaining everything. Um, and so does she, and I can't remember their names. Kylie and Guy. There you go, Kylie and Guy. And, and Kylie was there and she said, right, so we, we can put the toilet in downstairs, but to put the toilet in downstairs, we have to disconnect the toilet <laughs> yeah. upstairs. But to disconnect the toilet upstairs, we then have to do... And, and we sat there agreeing, sat there thinking, going, yes. yes. That's exactly what yeah. it is, but he has such a way of being able to put that across to people watching, and I haven't got that ability. <laughs> but long story short is if we want to do this job, we've got to do yeah. seven other jobs beforehand. Yeah, and, so... And right back to where I started, that's where five months has gone. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. I was thinking, where did you start with this? Yeah, but five, that's where five it was. months ago. Yeah. Wake up. Wake up now. <laughs> yeah. Wake up, he's finished. <laughs> he's turned around. But anyway, this fire, luckily, is, is okay, the one in the bedroom. And it works really well. And it works really well. Because they're two separate flues. It's not, they're not two connect. Not, the two fireplaces don't go into the one flue. But even without a ceiling in here and an insulated ceiling, it, it's gone from probably a a nine or ten degree room when we yeah. first came in, lit the fire, it's been on it's lovely know, and warm. hour, hour and a half and it mm. is. I had to take my jacket off. It's a, I didn't, I zipped mine up. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, it's, it's a really cold. good fire, it does work well, so. Yeah. So, yes, we had the fire on, it's nice and warm and we're just really trying to make this well, yeah we're just trying to make it presentable more than anything at Pre the moment that's it presentable presentable beauty. it's not beauty not quite no next week yeah it could be more than next week but that's where we are at the moment no huge major jobs going on at the moment just lots of bits because i've got to do the wall the sheep's wall around but it, this is why we're doing this now actually I came up I came up to do the sheep's wall around the room for the insulation didn't I and then yeah. we realized the walls flaky, were just flaking horrible. with paint and horrible so there was no point in putting the wall in then scraping the walls to then fill the wall with all bits and pieces dust and lime and all sorts so that's why we're doing this but I still have got sheep's wool to do around this room. Um, the windows, they all need... Replacing. Uh, <laughs> well, they do, but... No, they don't. Oh, that's, no. That's another job I want to do before Some are right. it gets too wet nasty. and nasty. Yeah. I'm going to do... And that was another job, actually. This is what makes it so exciting that we decided we'd go for scaffolding tower for ourselves. Yeah. I had already said I want to do the outside of the windows, wood hardener, sand, and get some paint on them so that they don't deteriorate any further. And I would have gone up a ladder and done it. It wasn't a nice thought, because it's quite a tall house, isn't it? Yeah. And my reach isn't far, so on a ladder I'm not great and sanding and painting. I would have done it anyway, but scaffolding is going to be amazing to be able to do that. We've got the scaffolding, we're getting the scaffolding mm. now, so it will, it opens up so many opportunities yeah. to make life easier, doesn't it? Yeah, we did the same with the trestles, didn't we? We ummed and ahed about hiring them 
and as it happened, it took us so long to do the kitchen. We've had them three. It would have cost us an absolute fortune in hiring. We've had them three, three and a half months now. Um, and we've pretty after, much continuously used yeah. them for that amount of time. And it would have only, or, or what we paid for them was five weeks equivalent higher. Yeah. And we've had them for three and a half months. Yeah, so it was worth it in the long run, and so, and so will the scaffolding be well, yeah, the same. Yeah, it's great. So yeah, that's, I digress. Again. I do it all of the time. So do I. Yeah, so behind me, windows, they need wall coming along, all these bits here. Um, there's three windows in this room. They'll all need doing, all the floor needs doing and every other window in the house needs doing and the doors yeah there's 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 such a long list of things that need doing really but it's going to be nice in some ways to be doing these little small little bits and pieces because i kind of think i don't know if ben would agree but i feel like you get so focused on a big job that you forget all the rest of the house, don't you? You forget yeah. when, when we tidied and then you can walk around and you see the house again. And it's not, I don't know how to explain it. You see it as a house and a home and not just a building site. When it's big jobs like the floors, it yeah, wasn't it, it was it was, it was just a job yeah, yeah. It was and the now it's become a house and a home again this is it the, the three days of hoovering and sweeping and yeah and is the bit that's made that's, uh, say made us realize but we, no. we can now see that that is the living room that is the bedroom that even to the point which you saw on previous video or maybe this one earlier um the bed we've put up in the bedroom. Yeah. Um, just <coughs> little bits like that, and it, it, it does become a home. We've now we're in here. The fire's on. It's warm. It's it's just nice. Mm. Be cozy for Christmas. Hopefully. We don't know if we'll have any electric. No, we on might not. Mains for Christmas. We'll have a tree. We may not be able to have any lights on that tree. No. <laughs> because of solar so we'll have some we'll lights. have baubles and all sorts of things on it we'll have lights. we'll have lights on we might allocate five minutes per day yeah for christmas lights but it's fine it doesn't matter for, for house lights <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so anyway that's us i'll stick us stick you on a stand somewhere i've chatted for far too long that wasn't the plan but it makes a change just having a chat does it now? I think so. Yeah. Or well, does it make a change me having a chat? Yeah, it makes a change you having a chat. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, right. I'm pausing that for a sec so I can open the stand. Mm -hmm.